as well as stock turnover and debtors turnover in chapter 20 we also looked at creditors turnover ratio and we calculated it by taking the average creditors for the period times it by 365 and dividing by credit purchases which in this example would get a creditors turnover of 46 days so what that means that is on average the business has five thousand dollars of creditors and it's taking 46 days to pay them back amounts owing for stock purchased so to interpret it, um, looking at, we said the average debt, uh, creditors at any one time is 5,000. Well, on average, it takes us 46 days to collect that amount. And then we have another $5,000 on average of creditors. It takes 46 days to collect that amount, or sorry, to pay that amount. And then it takes 46 days to pay the next $5,000 of uh, creditors and so on. Interpreting the trend, if it went from 46 days down to 28, this is a bad trend as it means on average, or sorry, it's a good trend in one sense because we've decreased the time it takes to pay creditors. And based on that, we're probably more likely to get discounts depending on the credit terms from our uh, suppliers. We'll also have a good relationship with suppliers. They'll want to sell to us and let us buy on credit and charge us no interest and maybe even lower prices because we always pay on time. However, the flip side is it could be a negative. Even though paying someone back earlier seems to be a good thing, it means we are keeping less cash within the business to pay other things. Creditors are just one item that we have to pay. We also have to pay a lot of other items like bank loans and wages. So if we're spending so much on creditors and paying them back quicker. Is that coming at the expense of other items? There's also going to create pressure on what we came to learn was the cash cycle. So we're going to need to, if we're paying creditors back in 28 days for the stock, hopefully get our cash cycle now down to less than 28 days and that creates a lot of pressure. If the trend increased to 67 days, we would say on the one hand that's a negative result as we're probably likely to get fewer discounts from creditors and discounts reduce the amount of cash we pay and will also increase our profit because they're a revenue. We'll also have a bad relationship with suppliers. They might stop selling to us or might stop giving us free delivery or increase prices. On the other hand though, we're going to keep more cash in the business which is good because we can make sure that um, we can pay our other items. If loans are really overdue, we can use the money for an extra uh, 21 days to pay back some loans. And there's also now less pressure to sell the stock and collect cash quickly. We can have a cash cycle that's uh, up to 67 days before we're paying back our creditors. How to improve it? Well, the first thing we can do if last year it was 46 days, we can decrease average creditors down to four by just keeping more vigilant and making sure that average is lower. Still buying the same amount of stock. And if we do that, it'll just work out that we're paying back creditors in 37 days. The other way it can be improved is by buying um, more stock on credit. So we increase from 40 to 45. We've still got average creditors at any one time of 5,000. So if we put the numbers in the ratio. We've gone from 46 days down to 41. And that's an improvement as we're paying back our creditors faster.